though it's big, brutal, supercharged ZL1 brothers have made most of the headlines lately, they're obviously not the only V8 Camaros around. Chevy still builds and sells the Camaro SS. And it still has a seriously potent pushrod V8 making 455 horsepower, a number that outdid the Mustang GT until this year, and even now it's only a difference of 5 horsepower. Add in some excellent handling, and you have one of the most compelling V8 sports cars on the market. The example we test drove was in many ways the ideal enthusiast car. It was a well-equipped 2SS model, the top trim level, and the V8 was coupled to a six-speed manual transmission. It was suspended by GM's Magic Magnetic Ride Control Suspension and came with Chevy's new Redline package, which adds black and red accents all around the car. Altogether, our Camaro came to a not-so-cheap $47,530. Editor-in-Chief Greg Migliori I love the turbo 4 Chevy is offering in the Camaro, but every time I drive an SS like this one, I realize that's the way I'd go if I were in the market. The manual transmission has long throughs, but it's precise, and the clutch action is nicely calibrated. The creases just seem to hang in a better, more confident manner and the front end sort of sneers at you. Overall, the modern Camaro is in a good place. Senior Producer Eddie Sabatini this was my first time behind the wheel of the Camaro. Things like, a hard to find and reach USB port to charge my phone, or the oddly placed hazard light button that was deployed by my cell phone, keep your phone in the cup holder in the 2018 Camaro. With the magnetic ride control, I could leave it in track mode and it still felt extraordinarily comfortable over bumps, while also delivering impressive cornering ability. On lower trim Camaros it would be fine, but moving up to a car that's easily over $40,000, and it would be nice to have fewer cheap plastics. But the controls are easy to use, my link is a pretty user-friendly infotainment system, and the temperature control rings are still cool.